which part of the lateral ventricle does not have carotid plexus and what is the importance of that the answer is frontal horn so it obviously has many other importance as well but mainly for neurosurgeons it helps us in orienting ourselves as we enter into the lateral ventricle either endoscopically or microscopically it helps us to orient ourselves and takes us towards foramen of monroe and if we see the carotid plexus that means we are posterior to the foramen of monroe and if you don't see the carotid plexus, obviously we are anterior to the foramen of Monroe, that is we are in the frontal horn. So we can look at the carotid plexus and then trace it anteriorly till we reach the foramen of Monroe. Another very important thing is that you need to always aim to place the tip of the VP shunt tube in the frontal horn because if not, there is a high possibility that carotid plexus sticks to the multiple openings which are there in the tube and it can get blocked. But in case if the shunt tip is in the frontal horn, Obviously, there is no carotid plexus and the chance of the shunt tip getting blocked is less.